Dinox visits Game World, the new gaming store in Isabella, Puerto Rico. Hello everyone, this is Dinox speaking once again. There's a lot of noise right now, so I'm talking as loud as I can. But we are in a new gaming store that just came out literally less than two months ago, I think. I don't remember exactly when it came out. This game store is called Game World, as you can see up here. Game World up, yeah, that's the logo pretty much. So we're gonna go up there and see what they have. From what I heard from my friend Kevin, he told me that there's some limited run games there. So we're gonna see what they have. Okay, so it says Game World, Segundo Piso. So it means the second floor. So just gotta go through the stairs up here and we're gonna go up there. So this is Game World, guys. And this is the entrance. I'll see you inside. So guys, I'm in Game World right now. The owner just talked with me. Oh yeah, in case you were wondering why I'm wearing so nice today, I was just in an interview. And I decided to bring my hat after the interview. So yeah, the hat's on right now. I got my interview clothes. So it's just let want to let you know. I just came back from an interview just recently. So we're gonna give you a tour right now in the store and hope that you like it. This is a overview right now. And here's the tour in Game World. You are gonna be quite surprised what you see here. Enjoy. Okay guys, so basically what I love about this store so far in Game World is that it's literally the only place in Puerto Rico, at least in the northwest area, because it's only a town away from where I live. They sell these type of games, the limited run games. Uh, I believe they're, I don't know, if, well it doesn't say limited run, but they're like limited edition type of games. And then there's this game as well that's also limited run. But this one actually says limited run right here. Okay, and there, there's another limited run game right here. So they're selling all this. So if you want limited run games and you don't want to buy it online, I guess you could check out here if you're in the area. It's located in Isabella, Puerto Rico, by the way. So very close to where I used to work as well. And then there's Shantae. Yeah, there's literally a physical version of Shantae Risky's Revenge. Another limited one game is like one of the early ones. Pirate's Curse here, they have as well. They have Jax, yep, limited run as well, right here, limited run. Also Bastion, all those PS4 games for limited run. He's gonna send me some Switch games right now that are limited run, so I'm gonna show you some of them right now that they're selling. You probably never heard of these before, but there's this game called Dust. Uh-huh, let's see, yeah, it says limited run right here. And then we have uh, Kurui. Ku Fury. Fury, Fury, okay. Yeah, this hack and slash, it looks like a ha hack and slash games. But yeah, there's also, let's see, Game Breaker, Limited Run right here. Yep, you see it. And then they also have this game too. So these are some of the example of some of the Limited Run games that they're taking in. Yep, Limited Run as well. So guys, this is what they are driving. This is what they're gonna sell. Oh, dude. I follow a YouTuber called Izzy. He reviews like Game Boy and uh, a lot of portable games. Like he's a big fan of it. 
that you see right next to me right now if you know him 99 vitas they even have this game in the store so literally like this is i don't think i don't think that's limited run right or oh, is that other company that do uh, limited stuff Wow, okay, so it's another company that's not limited runs, but you won't be able to find this in many other places, so it's pretty cool. 60 bucks, not bad. So, and they also have this as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, guys, if you follow this guy, Izzy Noblet, if you enjoy portable gaming, then I highly recommend this channel. This guy right here, I believe him, that's supposed to be Izzy right there, if I'm not mistaken. 99 live so it's it's pretty much his game so he promotes it a lot on his channel so yeah, I thought I just saw uh, mention it right now Okay guys, so this is the owner of this game store called, what's your name? Uh, my name is Alexis, I'm the owner of Game World here in Isabela, Puerto Rico. Nice. So when did this game store open? We opened on September 29th of this year. September 29th? Uh, yeah. Wow, that was less, that was, almost, yeah, that was yeah, just a month we, ago. We, we just a month ago that we, we have our first month anniversary. Oh, your first month anniversary. Yeah. Well, you're, set, uh, you're started, but you have all these stuff already in stock, so it's not. It's a pretty good start. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a small business. We try to, we are in working progress, making baby steps. But we have a lot of stuff. We, we have a, a little bit of everything for, for everyone, so oh, okay. we, have, we try to give you a variety of games so everyone has something to choose from. Oh, okay. And what made you decide to open a gaming store? Well, all my life I've been a collector and a fan of the gaming business, so I decided, so, well, what? It says GameStop's not yeah, here. No, GameStop's not here, so let's try. Exactly. But I have to lose how the inventory here is from my collectors or collection, so. Oh, okay. And do you consider yourself like your selling point of this store is the limited run games over there? Uh, you have it right here? You, so <laughs> you want to show me? Yeah, 
I have some of the limited run uh, games that have been released. Um, it's one of my selling points having the, the rare or the collectible stuff here because nobody, nobody else, has, else it. has it. Not even Best Buy. No, 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 no store has, is going to have it. So people that have come, they like that from the this store. Exactly. So were you able to sell a lot here so far in the store? Yeah, you know, we, we have been only over a month, but we are making very good clients. Oh, people, that's good. Uh, that's are, a good start. Are back and so far, so good. So far so good, yeah, because I remember we had like Paladin Games not so long ago and it closed down. Then there was Gamers and it closed down, I think. Yeah, yeah, but that, that, that didn't do it. Deal. But and yours... Then, then, well, there's where Paladin was a board game store. Yeah, the single uh, players. Gamers, gamers. I, I didn't have a chance to visit, so I, I, I can't talk about it. But in your case, you focus on retro games and modern games and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I try to, to give the, the, the clients a little bit of new, a little bit of retro. Mm -hmm. We have consoles too for the sale. I have heard already sell a, a few consoles already retro, so we have them. Oh, okay, I see. Start. And what is your goal in the future for the store? Well, my goals in the near future are bringing all the new releases, uh, make the store grow bigger. Yeah, I would imagine like yeah. like GameStop used to be, right? Well, not. I, I hope so, but eventually. It's, it's a it's a eventual goal, eventual goal. Not just hope, like, you know, if you really want it badly, I think you you should be able to do it because, no, like, I, that, that, no other stores in Isabel's are offering this thing no, right that, now. That's the goal. That is my the final goal. Having a franchise or a, a good yeah. store. It's to show that digital distribution is not what everyone wants completely. Like, people are saying, oh, everything's going to go digital, but there's always going to no. be a demand for all these physical there's, there's games. There's always room for Like, I'm a, collector, I'm a collector myself, and I don't have too much digital games, but I have a lot of no, physical the, games. The, the, the digital is... You can't you, sell you, it. Not, you can sell it. You can't. That's, it. You can. that's, it. that's it first. And the second is, if the, the, the publisher lost the license of that game, they won't... So it's like Scott Pilgrim and TMNT. You guys lost that license and it's in the Switch store right now. It's not in the Switch store? No. Oh my god, that was quick. And that, that came out like 2018, I think. Yeah, they lost the license. So once they lose the license, they just cut boots off they the eShop, the PSN. And do it all over again, but it's, it's a lot, it's a whole game, it's just uh, too much work. Yeah, it's understandable. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you at the moment. Thank you for letting me record this store. Thank you for passing by. And no problem. I hope you do all of the success in the world in Thanks, this store. Man. Because Thanks. yeah, it has a lot of potential, especially limited runs. I can see myself eventually buying some from you <laughs> in the future. <laughs> that I can tell you. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna conclude this video saying, yeah, this is the owner right here. This is me. And so what do you guys think about this whole store? If you're in the area, be sure to show them support. At least visit the store and maybe buy something that you may like over here. There's a lot of retro store that you probably saw and a few other stuff. So hopefully that this gaming store was to your enjoyment. If you're in the area, if you're in Isabella, Aguadilla, or any of the Northwest area, we have another gaming store that's very near your area. So highly recommend you check it out. They don't have the new releases yet. But as time goes by, hopefully they will. You know, they're still just getting started, but with what they have right now, especially if you're looking for retro, it's a good place to go because no other stores nearby has this much retro game, especially the ones in the boxes. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this. And until next video, guys, take care, God bless, stay cool, subscribe to the channel if you're new to this. Hopefully I can see you next time. Take care, bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to keep up to date for new videos like this from me. And also check out the videos you see on the screen here if it interests you. Also check out my other channel at SuperZenixMaker770 for Mario Maker 2 and ROM hacks related content. Hope to see you again!